for the past couple of months I have been recording all of my games with this GoPro in the goal and uploading them here to YouTube. And after uploading all of those videos, I always seem to get the same question in the comment section. How do I record my videos? So in this video today, I'm gonna to be telling you exactly how I record, edit, and upload them to YouTube. If you have all the equipment and you know what you're doing, it's all fairly simple. But if you don't know what to get, if you don't know what you're using, it might be a small bit overwhelming. Also, to make it a bit easier for you, I'm gonna be linking every single thing that I use in the description down below. In the overall grand scheme of things, it's fairly simple. This is everything I bring into that goal with me on match days. It's a GoPro mounted up onto a small little tripod to stick into the corner of the goal. Starting out with the tripod, I got it off Amazon. And honestly, when I was getting this tripod, it wasn't a specific type of tripod that I wanted to get. I literally looked up on Amazon GoPro tripod, and this is one of the first one that came up. I think it was actually Amazon's choice. So I went for it and I haven't looked back since. I cannot complain about this tripod one bit. It's sturdy, it's tough. It's gotten hit by a couple of footballs in the goal a fair amount of times, and I'm still using it to this day. It's nice and small, so it's not that noticeable when it's in the goal, but it does also have this adjustable clip where you can adjust the height of whatever height you want it to. To put it to scale, I'm six foot two, six foot three. And once it's at its max height, it's up to about my knee. And I think at the time of recording this, it is still Amazon's choice. So I put the link if you want to get this for yourself in the description. Now onto the main part, the GoPro. So I'm currently using the GoPro Hero 9. Yes, there is newer ones out there, but for me, I've had this for about two years now and I have not had any issues with it. If you're wondering what settings I use, I use 1080p at 60 FPS on the max video setting. If you are looking to record your games and look back on your highlights and things like that, make sure to put the duration at no limit. Because if you don't do this, it might be set to 10 minutes, it might be set to 15 minutes and the recording will stop after that set amount of time. So make sure the duration is on no limit. The final, yeah, probably most, oh my God, there is a bird up there that just won't shut up right there, him. <laughs> the final yet yeah, most important piece of this setup, which a lot of people don't know about and a lot of people don't use, is this right here, the Max Lens Mod for the GoPro. This right here is exactly what captures the whole goal when the GoPro is in just the corner of the goal down here. Out of everything in this setup, the Max Lens Mod is definitely the one that I would most highly recommend. Yeah, you can go for the GoPro Hero 10, 11, I think there's even a 12 now, I don't even know. But for me, the GoPro Hero 9 is perfect. It does exactly what I needed to do. And especially with this Max Lens Mod, you're gonna be able to see everything on the page. To give you a bit of a comparison, this is exactly what it looks like when you have the Max Lens Mod on. If you haven't seen any of my videos, before, this is basically what it looks like. You can go through all of my videos that I posted before and every single one of them have the Max Lens Mod on when I'm using the GoPro. And as you can see, when I switch over to the GoPro footage now, how much of a difference it is, this is the lens that comes with the GoPro compared to the Max Lens Mod. So if you are a goalkeeper and you are looking to use it to watch your videos back, upload them to YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, whatever, this is what you can use to get the full goal and basically all of the pitch in the camera as well. As well as this i have also just recently gotten one of these rode wireless microphones i definitely want to do a video on this or even if i can do a match day video where i'm talking to the camera with this mic on or basically you guys can hear what i say to my defenders what i basically talk about during a match this is definitely something i would like to do but if you would like to see a video like that as well make sure to leave a like on this video now once i'm done recording with the gopro i take it home and i transfer all the files over onto my laptop the editing software that i use is adobe premiere pro now it is a bit confusing when you first see it but you kind of get used to it as you go on i was still getting a lot of comments asking me how does the camera follow the ball and how do i get the zoom effect on my camera and what camera am i using for this and that it's not really anything to do with the camera it's all in the editing process usually for a match day video it takes me about three to four even five days to edit together to get the final product i have to go through recording the game bringing a home transferring all the files over going through about a two hour long recording of the match day videos. Once I go through the two hour long video and pick out the best parts, I then write the script. And the script can be anywhere between two to three paragraphs to two to three A4 pages. Once the main part, the script and everything like that is done, I then go away and do all the little edits, the camera following the ball or the camera following me or anything like that. So yeah, there is cameras out there that can 
you know, follow the ball through AI and things like that. But at the end of the day, for me, this little GoPro, putting it in the goal, bringing it home and taking a couple of days to edit, that's exactly what I like, prefer, and that's what I'm gonna stick with. I know this was a fairly different video to what we're used to uploading, but if you did enjoy it, please make sure to leave a like and don't be afraid to comment down below what your thoughts were. And if you have any other suggestions for any other type of video, thank you so much for watching and enjoy your day.